Hello everyone, my name is Deddy Wijaksono. I'm from Swiss German University in Indonesia. We are going to present today wireless synchronous carbon nanotube patch mechanomyography of leg muscles. This mechanomyography basically is another type of muscle activity measure, measurement similar to electromyography, which is which maybe is more popular in the clinical setup. This uh, ele uh, conventional surface electromyography measurement, however, cannot be used outside clinical setup. So here we would like to propose a method that can be used to measure, hopefully in the future, physiological um, activity outside clinical setup. The solution is based on our previously reported CNT protein thread, uh, which functions as a strain sensor. The thread sensor is soon into kinesiologic tape so that it can be patched onto the muscles, onto the skin. The patchable sensor is then connected to wireless electronic interfacing, which consists of Fetzon bridge, input uh, instrumentation amplifier, and microcontroller to convert the analog signal to digital signal and then wirelessly transfer the data into a local TCP server. The patchable wireless sensor is attached to four muscles on leg, yeah, four the muscle, which, is, which consists of two muscles on the front of the leg and two other muscles on the back of the leg. Then uh, the data were sent from this four sensor uh, with certain time stamp so that they can be reconstructed into synchronous data stream of the muscular activity. We use this uh, patchable wireless sensor in five healthy male volunteer, which we ask to conduct a sit to stand activity as a proof of concept um, a physiological activity. This is how it looks like in the, the photograph of when the experiment were conducted, was conducted. And this is the results, the raw data results of the average five male mechanomyography measurement from their four muscles in leg. And then we conduct fast Fourier analysis on the four, foot, four muscles activity. And then we find that the activity from the upper thigh muscle, both in front and the back of the upper thigh muscle, uh, shows higher activity compared to the other two muscles. These results resemble the result from our previous surface electromyography result. In the future, we hope that this method can be used for real-time body movement monitoring. I'm welcome, we are, we are welcome for question and answer or comments during this session. Thank you very much.